Now with the citrus harvest, it's all but wrapped up, but some growers are now noticing a pest uh, took a giant bite out of the profits. The Mexican fruit fly left its mark on over 4,000 acres of orchards across the valley. Channel 5's Stephen Sabi explains what growers are going to be doing this off season. Stephen? Texas Citrus Mutual tells us for the valley, the fruit fly cost growers about $1 million in profits. And the harvest might be over, but the fight continues. This year's fruits of labor took a toll. Probably lost uh, thirty or forty thousand dollars. Fred Carley has several hundred acres inside a quarantine zone for the Mexican fruit fly. He, along with the USDA, worked to get the pest out. It's important that uh, you know for the marketing of our fruit that we that we control that. At the end of harvest, Carley tells us he cleared out all his trees of citrus. While all the fruit may be gone from these trees, that hasn't stopped the fly from eating away at even more profits. Carly says he will continue to spray for pests even with empty trees. We were doing it uh, every 30 days during the season. And here during the off season, I think we're going to do it about every uh, four to six weeks. According to Texas Citrus Mutual, growers pay on average $200 to $300 per acre to spray. This year, over 270 growers across the valley took a hit by this pest. The reason this fight has a tough time ending is due to citrus trees people have for personal use. Actually, that's where a lot of the quarantine comes from. It's not from our groves because we're protecting our groves, but it comes from our neighbors who have uh, trees in their yards and uh, those trees are not treated. Carly says this summer he is focused on getting his groves out of a quarantine zone, so next harvest he will have a better outcome. The USDA and the Texas Department of Agriculture urge folks that have their own citrus trees to make sure they are cleared of all fruit. This will help crews fight the pest this summer. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 5. And a note to Stephen's report, the USDA says you can report six citrus trees or abandoned citrus groves. This will help their crews pinpoint areas that they need to focus on to treat. If possible, they can ask you to, to also take a picture of those trees in question. We'll put a link on our website, krgv.com, after the newscast.